Hello, welcome to another ICC recording. This time I'm looking for a 15 plus 10 game. I'm back to 15 plus 10. Um, I tried for a 15 minute game without increments <clears throat> and I felt that if I had the increment I could have done better in each one of those cases. And um, I was speaking to our Grandmaster today at a quick lesson let's say and he recommended 15 plus 10 at the very minimum to kind of try and measure your skills. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm back on 15 10 and I'm playing Dan Venice Queen's Pawn opening. Um, what should I play? I'll probably just try something I never do again. Uh, instead of Grunfeld, I'll probably go d5. That's unusual. A little bit. I can just probably bring my knight out. Is that too bad? Is that horrible? I don't think so. <clears throat> oh, I hate this stuff. What is this? The Torre or the London system or something like that? It's pesky knight. I can just put my bishop there too, right? What is the best way of playing against this? To be honest, I don't know. I think this bishop might just stay here. What is the best way of playing? He wants to get rid of this bishop for my bishop, ideally. That's his bad bishop. This bishop, my c8 bishop, will become bad if I lock it inside a chain. Can I just do what he did here? Yeah. Symmetrical. I don't see why not. Can I... I could also try and bring my queen out to b6 and try and exploit the fact that the bishop is not there. It's probably the best. If I do this, I'm staying flexible, right? I can see something. Can he start exploiting my... Um, my weak c7 square? I don't see it. Is c5 I'm off here? Exploit his center? I think c5 is a move. Let's go c5. Sucks playing against openings that you don't have much experience with. Probably should develop my knight. Knight to c6. Put some more pressure on this point. What I noticed is maybe I overthink the opening too much as well. Yeah, now I can play something like a4 to prevent him um, consolidating, so I'm gonna do that. I was saying I noticed that I take too long in the opening and then um, put myself in time trouble. It's not nice. Right, so. <clears throat> what is this point? He's trying to play b4 because my knight spinned. But I could just play bishop to d7 now, I think. <coughs> Solves all my problems, right? Is there anything else he's just trying to do here? Mm. Bishop to d7 looks safe. Everything, nothing's hanging. Can't play b4. So I'm gonna do that. Bishop d7. Oh, I don't think I finished saying it, but yeah, I'm gonna try and play a bit quicker in the opening, just making logical, solid moves. So I have more time for the middle game and complicated positions, maybe even end game positions. I don't want to be down on time like it was yesterday, actually. It's horrible. Uh, he's gonna try and pin me. But don't I get to do something like... Knight to e5, maybe? 
attacking his queen. I hear just goes queen back. What well, knight knight b4? Is again queen back? All his problems are gone. Main bishop to b5 just doesn't. That looks nasty for me, doesn't it? Um. Knight to d4. <sighs> queen d8. He queen queen d1 solves all his problems. Knight to a7. Clean my draw. <laughs> Repeat the moves here. <laughs> Maybe I can just. Knight to e5, queen to d1, knight takes on f3, queen takes on f3. Um, b6, b4, a takes and b4, c takes and b4, and I'm stuck. Right? What about knight to d, knight to e5, knight to g6, attacking his bishop. That could work. And then he has the extra pawn. I'll take his bishop, bring his pawn structure. Could be compensation, right? Then I'm gonna have to go for that. I don't want to move repetition here. So, knight to e5. Anything cheeky? He asked him of his queen, right? Let's try for that. Well, that took a long time. That move. Talk about not going down time, huh? That was my goal, and I'm already down four minutes. I kind of felt that was a critical moment, though. He's trying to keep his c5 pawn. So he's only moved his queen back to d1, or maybe queen to d5. Oh wow! Okay. Not sure I saw that. Now I get to mess up his pawn structure. Okay, I'm gonna go for that. Get central pawns. Maybe you can castle queenside and I use the open file. <clears throat> Check. I think that should be good. Can't be really four more time, can I? Is there e5 here? Takes me e5, any tactics? Probably not. <clears throat> e6. Just try and get rid of that pun. Takes my bishop, I take with my knight, everything's fine. He can pin my knight, but don't know if I care. Doesn't look like there's anything there. I mean, that's surely just feeling, I mean takes, he takes, he can't take back, his queen is hanging, takes with the bishop, take with my knight, he has to take with the queen, uh, okay, take with, uh, what, his queen is hanging now, game over my friend, he missed that, well, maybe I should record another gameplay, <laughs> That was too simple. Um, that's because um, my 
my fifth my standard rating. I mean, I haven't lost any games on standards. Um, I'm on. Um, I played three standard games. I've had I have three wins, zero losses, zero draws, and um, obviously I start with a provisional rating. So I've just gone up from fifteen eighty to sixteen forty six. So I guess I'm just playing um, a lower quality level of opponent, or he's just had a terrible day because that was a pretty pretty nasty blunder. Um, he didn't notice that his queen was hanging. Just maybe he was. I think what happened was, if you look at it, um, he was calculating. He. I don't think he expected maybe me to take with a knight. But I mean, if he didn't expect me to take with a knight, and he expected me to take with a queen. Then he either had a queen takes on d7 or queen takes on a8 or with on pre move. So. I think he just didn't realize that after I take with my eight pawn, my rook has opened up, and um, and yeah, he he had to take there with a queen, and yeah, queen takes him before the move, and he was uh, slightly worse there, and um, that's what I I was counting on because uh, I know my b7 pawn is hanging there, but I could probably just let it hang and just straight away develop my bishop by taking on c c5 I mean I'm gonna try and an analyze this how do you do that um, window well, first of all let's go to what the computer says how do you people change this to examine say actions show my rating my recent games maybe show my recent games go for that um, <laughs> that's not help. let's close this let's try it examine here we go, examined. Okay, finally I got it. Alright, let's see. So you have to go to um, show your recent games and right click it and click examine. So now, let's see how this went. Oh, okay, examined. Um, how do you flip the board? How do I get rid of that circle? Ah, oh, sorry guys. Um, reverse. Alright, let's do it again. Examine. Okay, here we go. Bishop f5. Yeah, I was considering bishop f5 in this position. I just kind of didn't want to play everything symmetrical, so I thought I'd try something else. Um, I mean, that move seems to be perfectly fine as well. e6 is recommended here. Took my knight out instead. Looks okay. And it's not good to take for white here. You can see that now black is slightly better, just a tiny bit. Um, but the computer doesn't like. Well, I think it does. It's okay. A5. It was saying I should just play e6. Maybe I should have. And then just if he plays b4, do a5. Um, I'm not going to look into that one in case I mess it up and I can keep showing you the game because I have a point later that I wanted to look at. So his queen move, trying to defend and hang on to that pawn doesn't look good. I found the best move which is bishop to b7, putting his queen in, a, in, a, in an x-ray, um, ready for any discoveries. And the computer says he needs to move his queen away, queen to b3, so back here to the square, but he didn't do that. So he did that instead, and e5 is the best move here, driving his bishop away. Yeah, maybe. Did this instead, which keeps the game equal, doesn't give me any, any advantage. Yeah, e5, and then I, I capture, I get to capture in c5 next turn and get my pawn back, with his queen in an awkward position. So e5, why didn't I see that? But well, e5, how is that working? So e5, and then what? Bishop g3, what happens if he takes? 
Ah, well, when I take back, I take what I discovery. So, of course, he can't take. So, he has this, like this, and he loses a piece because he has to defend his queen. His knight is attacked. I take check next turn. It's a very good point. I didn't see that tactic. Nice little way to gain back my pawn. I'll have to try and remember this, this shot. Tactical shot. Revert to main line. Is that? So that was the main line, okay. It's a 93 check. It says 93 check. That's interesting. I, oh, of course, I kept thinking he would just take with the bishop, but he can't because his queen is under attack. So that's a really good move as well. 93 check. check. Very interesting. Then his king can't castle anymore. Let's see. Instead, what I did was. Check. So that gives him a slight edge. I, I was afraid of that g takes the next. Sometimes, I mean, his king can't really safely castle anymore. I mean, he can, I guess. And then move to h1. And then he gets to use the g-file. Sometimes that's dangerous. And this pawn has central control. So I wasn't too sure about that, but I did it anyway. And at least the game is somewhat equal, so it's not a terrible mistake, which is... My goal is to not make terrible mistakes. If I make slight mistakes like this, it's not too bad. Eventually you'll get better. Um, so yeah, note the move there was knight to d3. Check. That was the best move. Then I did that. And he gets greedy, tries to defend his pawn, and that's exactly when he falls into into a bad, bad place. He should have just played rook g1. Yeah, used the open file, as I said. He prevents my bishop from taking on c5. And... Um, and yeah, I can't regain that pawn because otherwise it was my G pawn and I don't think it's getting messy. So yeah, I'm really disappointed actually with my knight takes an F3 move. But let's keep going with that. Check. Yeah, he blundered that. Ah, oops, and let's go here. So he had to play queen takes and I could, the computer suggests I just take with a knight I was wondering if I could take with the bishop I still have an advantage because even if he takes on b7 I thought that his queen was slightly misplaced maybe maybe not rook a7 queen c6 yeah those are hard moves to find I think queen c6 and what's going on there Right, but anyway, black has an advantage in this structure, so despite him having the open g-file, it says I can safely castle and it's not a problem. King e2 is his best move, keep his king in the middle. A bit dangerous with this heavy piece still on the board, but... Yeah, knight takes is probably better. I just thought bishop just develops quickly. Instead, I should do this. And here, castle is his best move. I guess good idea to put king to h1 and rook on the g-file. It should be 7, 92, castles. Can he do king here? Ah, uh, no. He was in a, an even better advantage for him, for black. Okay, well, that is the game today. I don't know if I'll film another one for for the day or just call it a day. Um, thank you for watching.